after you chop the cheese, you're gonna wait. No, you gotta finish chopping. You hear that cheese. beep? You gotta chop it up into fine pieces because you want it to cook, you know? Mm hmm. So, okay. Oh, yeah. You gotta add that to the eggs. How much cheese do you add? You're gonna add how much you like. I mean, I don't really like cheese, oh. but you're just gonna get little bits at a time. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna add that. Don't worry about what kind of egg you use. I use white eggs, but you can use brown, whatever color. Then you're gonna mix all that together. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna you're gonna start this because mm -hmm. we forgot to. Um, oh, you gotta heat the pan up first. Yeah. Okay. What do you put in the pan? How oh, hot? And what do you put in the pan? What do I put in the pan? So the eggs don't stick to the pan. You're going to add some Pam. Okay. There. Let's try some Pam. So, what's the, But got? that's raw egg right there, and that is, that is contamination right there. You, it's you, it's you, okay. So once you listen to the peanut gallery, <laughs> you're going to put everything away. And then once you put the eggs in the pan, you're going to wipe everything down. With what? So it's not a safety hazard. You're gonna take some dish soap and a rag. Mm. We want some Clorox. Um, I don't recommend using Clorox because. Who's calling? Don't answer. No. Uh, who is it? Anyways, you're gonna spray the pan down. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um. This is anyways, you're going to stir that real good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And after that... I think we missed the basil going in. How much basil do you put in there? You're going to put little pinches. Because mm -hmm. you don't want too much because everyone's going to complain about it. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to keep stirring that until your pan's warmed up. Oh yeah, you gotta use two eggs. Two eggs. I think it's one enough. Yeah, okay. Once you pour the eggs in, you gotta make sure you get everything. Now you can add anything you want to this. Anything at all. Make sure you ever so pan because it's egg. And you don't want this egg. So once you get that, you're going to take a spoon. And you're just going to stir around. And once you stir around, you're going to get that chunky. It's going to feel, again, chunky, but that's okay because bubblicious is going malicious. So I'm going to turn my oven up a little bit because I'm going to get it cooked fast. And we're just going to keep cooking. And it looks really good so far. You won't to see the bubbles. Yeah, they're supposed to be bubbles. And once you're going to keep stirring, and you're going to let that sit. Any comments from the peanut gallery? And you're gonna keep stirring. And you're gonna keep stirring. And once that's sitting, you want to get a plate so you can quickly transfer your eggs to your plate. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Ooh. okay, now it's going. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down to five, yeah. Lift okay. up your plate so it yeah, cools get it off. off. The heat. Get it off the heat. Get it off the heat, sir. It's okay, y'all. So once you start it out, it's going to start getting chunky. What happened to the ham? The ham is going to give it some flavor. Did you put ham in it? Yes. Okay. What, one piece? You missed that. No, I chopped it up. Okay, so you can set it down now. So what you're going to do is you're going to chop it up. 
and you're gonna make it into fine pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna add it to the eggs before you put it on the pan so it can cook and you want them warm and juicy. And you're just gonna keep stirring this around until you want the texture you want. Now you can also do this with regular eggs. If you want to crack the egg open and add some ham, shake it up and put it in the pan, that'll be much easier. But yes, it looks <coughs> going to keep stirring this. I like my dry. You want to get all them crunchies off so you don't got a lot of work to do later. All right? Now you don't want to let it too long or else it'll get crunchy and nasty. See, this is looking good. Okay. If you can see, they're almost done. What spice are you putting on there? I'm not going to. Put some garlic salt. Some, put some slap your mama. Oh, no. You're going to look oh, boy. for um, um, mm -hmm. some seasonings. You're going to look for a certain type of seasonings. If we have it, I'm pretty sure we have it because I saw it. Um, we don't have it, but I'm pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure we did have it. It was a little jar with leaves in it. Bay leaves? No, and they were like really big leaves. Like big leaves. Yeah, those are big leaves. You don't want that. No, you're going to set it on your eggs on the top of the egg. Oh, it's a garnish. And it's oh, going to look, there's some right, right in front of you right there. Parsley. Just peel some off and just put it put it on the side and look at mm. you. Oh, there you mm. go. Now we're talking. And then, if you want to, you're going to add oh, a little fresh ground pepper. Oh, that's getting fancy now. And you're going to add some of this. Time temperature abuse. Oh my God. That's how food becomes safe. Do the time when food abuse. has stayed out too long, the temperature is good for pathogens to grow. Damn. Especially in beef. Mm -hmm. the worst one. Mm -hmm. And your eggs are served. This is your product. Good job. Wow. Now that looks really good. Nice. That does look really good. And now? Thank you. You eat. Oh, it is? No. Out. Really Should I just your video? <laughs>